in English. My name is Larry Spotted Crow Man from the Nipmuc Nation. I am a writer, uh, poet, tribal historian, traditional storyteller, drummer, dancer, motivational speaker around youth empowerment, around sobriety and drug prevention. Um, that's been the better part of my life. And as I said, of so many other topics, I could spend hours talking about that work. It's, it's very vital and important to me. And also, I, I am uh, really proud to say I am the co-director and, and co-founder of the Okiteo Cultural Center. Okiteo is also a Nipmuc word meaning a place to grow, and it has certainly been growing. It is the um, Okiteo Cultural Center is the first native-run and operated indigenous center in all of Western and Central Mass. Please check us out, what we're doing there. We're doing some amazing work for our community, for educational pedagogy, um, as I said earlier, from STEM to, to brain tanning hides. As being a director now, I'm into the world of learning a lot about culture equity and inclusion in terms of museums and, and arts and, and the arts industry. So it's a very tangly world, right? And so we're, I'm, I'm learning a lot about that and how to kind of tra um, traverse through that. And, and the more you go through that, you realize that organizations of color are very always last on the list in terms of like support. We get 6% of, of donations where the real power comes from any organization, not from grants and so on. So if your grants run out, you usually go broke and you have to shut down. But when you have the power of the people, right? Whereas white organizations have about 60% and the organizations of color have six. So so usually they go under. Uh, and so we're um, really trying to change that narrative with the work that we're doing because we're very um, diverse in terms of what our, our programs that we offer from um, educational purposes for, for uh, pedagogues and scholars and, and different institutions uh, from wildlife organizations who want to learn different things about indigenous epistemology to having a source for our community, whereas they can come and get different services. Uh, we're doing COVID vaccine services right now. We're having, as I said, uh, drug prevention and art creative expressions to our cultural ceremonies, which are not publicized, right? And so we're, we're doing so many different things with this uh, space that we have. And uh, and so I'm really uh, excited to, to be a part of that. So as I was saying, uh, this is some photos here, some time I spent in Greenland, and then uh, <coughs> the pictures uh, to the bottom of that one. Uh, are some tribal folks. Uh, we were making some drums. And then on the other side there, that was when I had the wonderful experience at the Forest County Potawatomi community there, doing some work with the tribal youth there. And then uh, doing what I do, what I love most to do, storytelling with uh, youth of all backs, all walks of life. And then here are some other photos um, of, of my work that, of my travels. The top picture, uh, that's when I was in Skelleftia, Sweden, doing some work there at the Storytelling Festival. And then below that is uh, Itabaki, Iceland. And then the other photo is when I was in the University of Cuenca, a very moving experience there with the tribal elders from the Amazon. And then the other photo there with uh, my book, Drumming and Dreaming. Uh, that was quite the adventure. Every one of these photos, by the way, is an adventure in itself. The, the larger photo there, that was the uh, National Library of Havana, Cuba. And so I went there as, as on a mission to Cuba to share some of my writings with the community. And uh, that was quite a quite a journey because it was uh, the government runs the country. It's a socialist country, and I'm sure uh, many of you folks know that. And so, um, what's read is censored. So they screened my books, and it was a scary moment to bring them there. They took me into a room, and um, and I had to, and I didn't bring the morning road to Thanksgiving uh, specifically because I think it's other countries may be considered politically charged, and I and I was concerned about bringing that there, and it probably wouldn't have got through anyway because of that. I think it's on the banned books and different places, especially in red states. Um, so uh, I wanted to bring Drumming and Dream, which focused on our tribal legends. And even that, you know, it gave me a scare. But um, I was really uh, honored to be able to go to Cuba and bring those that writing there and, um, and to spend time with the people. There's an unspeakable poverty there and the oppression there is very palpable. Uh, you could see it. I felt it scared me, especially there because I wasn't as a tourist there. I wasn't as like the tourists who are in these white spaces. I was there with the people. Quite the experience, I, I would say. 